Okay, I'm showing you the lightning chart. And boy, this is quite a lineup here. Look at that. I'll put it in the animation. It's supposed to work. God, look at all that. Look at that mighty storm buddies. Look at all that. Check that out, man. That's why I hear a lot of lighting static. I'm still here right now. Like I'll put it on yesterday animation. Yeah, you see there were tornado touchdowns yesterday and everything. Yeah. There goes the gas prices really went up this morning. Yeah, I know. Where it was 269 is now 279. Yeah, OPEC's doing something nice, isn't it? Well, this is yesterday, so I'll put it on this morning's in a moment. Again, it was on this date in 2006. We had a big tea store. Okay. And I'll put this on uh, today's animation. Right now we're doing today's. This is something you normally see in July, not in the middle of April, but here it is. Unbelievable. And I'll show you the other lighting chart in a moment. I'll show you the Doppler radar. Okay. Of course, they're having the Boston Marathon, and I don't think the marathon runners are audio and video taping the thunder for me. I don't think so. Okay. Okay, well now I'll do this one. Here comes the real lightning chart. Yeah, just like the morning of 8.4.15. Yeah. Oh, I remember that morning. Going on four years ago. Yeah. See, New York City probably had a good one this morning. I haven't checked the emails yet, but I'll hear something about it. Alright, I'll see if I can get this uploaded on YouTube. Yeah, I was going to check the radar. Yeah. Yeah, there are cells way there. Okay. Well. Yeah, you see that? We hear that crunch. You can see these guys light up. Yeah. Uh, actually, my birthday two months ago, there was thunder and lightning, but like over here, and I was over here. And a month ago today, we had thunder and lightning, we had those deep rumbles, and it's on YouTube, and here it is, April 15th, exactly a month later than that. Hmm. How about that? Sorry for the, uh, let's get this on. much for a nice Easter Sunday. Okay, here's the radar. Yeah, so neat, see I can do it that way. Okay, we'll put it in the motion. I don't mean to be... See, I'm holding the camcorder. Let's put it on the motion. Yeah, see, we're here. Okay, look at that snow up here. And let's see what Chris has to say. Marathon Monday upon us. We just got to get rid of the rain just in time for the start. And it is going to be a tumultuous few hours before the start of the marathon weather-wise. 67 degrees here in Nord, 48 in Boston, 43 in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Easy to find the front at the moment. That front's going to be lifting off to the north. And to get that through here, we've got quite a bit of moisture and energy to work in as well. as we're now seeing a bunch of thunderstorms blossom up here 
out through Worcester County, certainly carrying that out into Lemonster, all the way down into Worcester, the stretches all the way back toward the 84 Mass Pike Exchange out near Sturbridge uh, and Southbridge as well. This is going to work right in to the Blackstone Valley. Even a severe thunderstorm warning in effect here back in the Connecticut River Valley out near 91, uh, close to Springfield, down in toward Hartford, Connecticut for this thunderstorm that's produced quite a bit of wind aloft and likely mixing some of that down toward the surface. So there will be a few stronger thunderstorms in here and there's going to be a lot of them pop off some torrential rains and cloud to ground lightning over the next few hours. Okay. Narrow channel of it, but we've got to get through it to get some, some breaks here as we get into the midday hours and you'll begin to see west of New York City that there are some dry breaks out there. So temperatures are going to jump up in the 60s for almost all of us. The heaviest of the rain, the most widespread thunderstorm action is going to be between 6 and about 8 a.m. this morning, rolling on through from Hopkinton all the way through the city of Boston, perhaps lingering till about 9 or 10 o'clock down through the Cape and the Islands. Then you get your breaks. You know, start of the race about 10 o'clock here in Hopkinton or even an hour either side of it. You're talking about some dry air, south wind gusting at times over 20 to 30 miles an hour. But we are going to have temperatures jumping up into the mid to upper 60s, few locations even close to 70. And then I would say anytime close Close to 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. thereafter, just heads up for another passing shower or rumble of thunder. Yes. It's not going to be as consistently widespread as what we're seeing this morning, but it will be out there. Temperatures fading tonight back to near 40 degrees. Very windy night overnight tonight. Gust 40 to 50 miles an hour. Windy start tomorrow morning. Temperatures in the afternoon running into the mid to upper 50s. So the thunderstorm action between about 6 and 9 a.m., I think by 9 a.m. you're tapering off to just some showers here uh, from Hopkinton into the city of Boston. And then there's your midday break in the action. So we'll get our dry stretches through the day. Just heads up for another passing shower or rumble of thunder mid to late afternoon. Seven-day forecast looks like this as we head in toward Easter weekend. Yes, the temperatures go up, but the pattern does look unsettled with some scattered downpours. Especially <sighs> Don't you just love that word, unsettled? If you have outdoor plants, don't you just love it? Okay, bye.